Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let's let's continue with the showers here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is add a. Hey, mm, let's uh, let's let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay. For now, let's. Ooh, okay, we're going to attach our wall. All right, we're going to attach our shower to the ceiling. Let's delete that. I'm going to start over and see if I can work some magic around and around so that I can put my shower on my wall and do the same in the other bathroom so I'm gonna just get it up just enough just to make it look pretty you know just to make it look pretty <coughs> just to make it look pretty okay so let's align the two showers I'm gonna align this one with that one and pin the two shower stalls there okay and we got a section view nope we got a section view yes we do let's, let's bring this guy down section view let's get a little closer maybe if i can right click and go to that view and we can see our shower this is the main pipe that we're going to connect to as a matter of fact this is existing pipe i'm going to pin it because we are we don't want to move the existing pipe so that existing pipe it's going to be pinned. So now let's get back to our two showers. Uh, let's see. So same procedure as before. We look at our clockwise two inches, no slope. All right. Go to the properties. Make sure that our pipe types and our systems are what? we are concentrating on and what looks like a vent system but we're going to change that right about now so we know that it is sanitary cast iron system tight okay sanitary okay and our slope is off so let's do this we gotta go down uh, okay we can either way what we need to do is put a t i'm gonna close that pipe off put a t here so that i can connect my other shower okay so draw here let's put a trap on the shower okay looks good are we lined up let's see are we lined up yes okay let's um let's go up okay and just draw a detail line just to make this make enough room for when we create our fitting for our connection and now what I need to do is go to the first floor plan so that we can look at the other shower so we can line these guys up right that's the one more so, more south okay 
So let's line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up. Okay, we got that one, that one. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, so we can go to our 3D view and let's connect our pipe. Make sure that we are reading fixture units, which is built into the family. Fixture units are very, 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 very important in plumbing. So we just want to make sure that as we design our system, so we can put another, let's put another, let's put two more showers in just for the heck of it. And spacebar, spacebar, I am rotating. And spacebar, right, spacebar. And we can put our shower there. And let's move this up just, just because. Mm. Okay, and let's align this with that and we can pin both showers okay and let's use the same procedure over and over and over and over and over again and over again and over again yeah okay and we check and okay great Slope is off. Sanitary, sanitary, cast iron, everything looks good. We can do that. Okay, here. And let's do the same with our P trap. Do the same. I am going to use the same procedure as I did before. <coughs> P trap here. Let's go P trap and let's use our fitting to make more fittings to make more pipe and once that turns green I can draw my pipe cap and draw from my sanitary to a cross which will be used to align the two showers okay do that and let's fill it this guy with that guy okay and let's make sure we can align what was previous done okay so we go up and let's align again let's detail line detail and trim that guy back 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 okay now let's delete mr detail line and align our pipe oop, 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 oop. take your time let's align our pipe and we can from here we can connect our two inch and let's just make sure that we have our fixture units oh mm -hmm. okay uh, what happened here okay let's go to our floor plan and look at our section so that we can put that p-trap on this guy is it gonna let me let's see what Revit does oh okay so it went so it went X so it went in the Y direction and the X direction okay we'll just leave that but anyway okay <coughs> so we got We got our plumbing. Looks like everything looks good. Now. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so those looks like one, two, three, four. Looks like our sanitary is is it working? Yes, it is working. Okay. Now let's look at it, the vent system. Okay. And so this vent is at what elevation? Eleven feet. That's all we need to know, right? So let's pick up our vent system for each each one of the shower stalls right now they are defaulted to a sanitary system and we're gonna change that okay we are gonna change Okay, so that's one, and control, select, control, select, control, select, and we are going to change our pipe type to vent, and we are going to change our system type to vent, okay, and now... We're going to connect each vent to the main vent. This is one and a half vent coming off the shower. I know that it's 11 feet. So the middle elevation is going to be 11 feet. Click into the space clockwise. Make sure the slope is off. Our system is good. So all we need to do is watch for the blue line so that we can connect. Okay. For you 3D enthusiasts, you can watch here and, and see how it's all being connected. So for this vent system, I'm going to come out just a little bit so that I can make my fitting. And up 11 feet. And I can use either 45, 135, 135. I like, I like 130. I can't see it. Let's do this. Let's try this. Can I see it now? Let's try that. Maybe I can. See the angle. I'm trying. I'm looking for the angle. Draw a pipe. I know it's going to be at 11 feet, but I need to see the angle. Maybe 45 here. Okay, 45 here. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Now let's go back. Oh, don't want that one. Okay, and let's flex our muscles a little bit. Make sure that it is working okay good so everything that's in the y direction and that's going in the z in the x direction so we are good and let's do the same with the third shower draw a pipe at 11 feet with no slope pipe type is vent and system type is vent Okay, we go over to our main pipe. And just to be sure, let's just flex that pipe. Make sure that it is not going to crash on us and that we can avoid any piping that's in the area if we need to or steel or mechanical ductwork. We don't matter. Just always, it's a good idea to... Um, Make sure your system is flexing the way you want it to. There's my 45 that I was looking for. Right on. Oh, what happened? Oh, see? See? You know what happened? Pipe, clockwise, one and a half, 11. No slope. Everything's cool, right? So we got our 45. Let's get our 40. 
five again this one will work of course all right so we go here make sure it flexes and it's going x and y coordinates we like it 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 okay 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 let's um let's add this floor drain to our system and see what I need to do is let's rotate our section view counterclockwise 90 degrees so we can see because what I need to do is connect into this wall okay so let's look at a section view we are looking west that is our floor drain okay so we got a three inch floor drain slope is off that's it's a vent system we're gonna have to change that to a cast iron sanitary system okay now let's let's do this let's draw this pipe oh what happened draw a pipe at no slope okay now let's put our trap here let's go here and let's move this guy up some let's just put it right there it could go anywhere I mean there could be any number of things but we see that the families is flexing now in order to let's connect to our pipe okay so in the section view we're going to grab our pipe and go to the overall plan right so we need to connect from our pipe here at a slope right we change the slope and let's use 45 which is and let's go down and we know that it's low it's way down there so I should be able to connect right into that guy yes that don't look good that looks like it's coming from the bottom It is coming from the bottom. Okay. So let's back up the train. Okay. So we are going to slope down. And from. Oh, let's window tile. And let's bring that guy up. And let's just kind of swing it around a little bit just to get some kind of orientation to see. Hmm. I'm going to bring it up some more. Oh, okay. Up. Because I have this much room, right? So I can go up, down. So now I know that I am above it it seems like i should be able to connect yeah i'm not surprised let's see if we can connect here oh not surprised okay let's see let's look at this and 90. okay we are here let's see I should be able to connect into I'm going to slope off that pipe just based on the fact that it is above but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it like this and go up connect go to my side view 
Okay, and now let's connect here and here.